hello everyone. I am Zi Guo, a second year PhD student from Adapter Center, Trinity College Dublin, supervised by Professor Owen Conlon. You can call me Z. My research interest falls in disinformation and large language models. I'm presenting my first year work here in the position of PhD symposium. The title of my presentation is Online Disinformation and Generative Language Models, Mit Motivations, Challenges, and Mitigations. I will start with the introduction of the general background and the review of the literature, propose my focus research question and the corresponding methodology, and conclude with current perspectives. Please feel free to ask any questions. The story begins with the 2016 presidential elections with concept of fake news become the rising attention all over the world, thanks to President Donald Trump. The following COVID-19 epidemic and the midterm election ended up with Capitol Hill route, pushing the discussion in the space to an even higher level. Despite sharing the commonality with fake news in nature, however, the term disinformation has been a long-standing social phenomenon that can be traced back to ancient times when uh, ancient kingdoms were trying to dominate people, hide the reality of war, and promote color, color revolution inside enemy forces through state-backed propaganda. It is the advancement of internet and media technology that has been reason the phenomenon of disinformation in, term, in terms of its volume, efficiency, and scale in the modern society. Literally, disinformation indicates the untruthful or misleading information that is intentionally designed and promoted for public harm or profit, which is often referred to as fake news in the digital age, despite of the slightly difference in scope, uh, which is often promoted by social media platforms and can foster social unrest. When talking around such issues, people are always curious about the role of artificial intelligence in the context. Is AI promoting larger scale disinformation creation and dissemination, or is it providing technically more effective ways of understanding and intervention towards online disinformation? Such spaces never lack of research and discussion. In the development of artificial intelligence, generative AI has always been a component, crucial component of AI system, referring to the model learning based on a given type of data and the generation based on that pattern. Specifically, generative language model indicates the AI system that can autonomously produce coherent and contextual relevant text based on the pattern learned from large textual data set. The advanced representatives are the closed source GPT model series and the uh, LAMAS, Mistra, and Jima models in the open source community. Despite of the strong capacity demonstrated in natural language understanding and uh, the multitask ability in various fields, large language models still suffer from ethical issues of toxic, harmful, and uh, biased generation, which can be maliciously weaponized to fuel disinformation campaigns. Uncovering the challenge in this context, we hereby propose the following research question, the PhD research objective. What is the landscape of online disinformation in the era of general language models? Throughout the literature, disinformation researchers generally focus on the modeling, a comprehensive modeling of this framework consists of three dimensionality of actors, behavior, and content. They try to figure out the virus targets and impact of this information and find the reasonable dimensionality of measurement. As for the research focusing on the generation of larger models, researchers generally work on the generalization capacity in various fields against its controllability and safety regulations in various fields. Uh, researchers used to evaluate the results on various uh, existing criteria, but now they usually establish their own evaluation framework or methods. And for the interdisciplinary space, in the context of our work, researchers have been working on the availability, effectiveness, and detectability of the proposed LLM generated disinformation and among which the first, which the first place benchmarks are the synthetic lies paper by Zhou and the detection paper by Chen, where the practical disinformation generation based on large language model and existing fixed data set is conducted and evaluated 
on the mentioned dimensions through algorithmic and uh, human engagement analysis. Uh, however, existing research presents significant re gap in the unclear definition and scoping of this information, low reproduci reproducibility of experimental results, and the lack of human-based motivation analysis of applying those methods in practice. Therefore, our work identifies the challenge of LLM generating disinformation from both the perspectives of human factors and the generative language models, and characterizes the research objective into the potential from the two disinformation, disinformation stage at all levels. This is suggested by the life cycle of a newly proposed LLM generated disinformation flow from the existing epistemic disinformation landscape with the core elements to the emerging AI-generated disinformation, potentially novel dissemination, and the mitigation of such in the online information space uh, based on traditional frameworks or integrated with new general language model tools. And specifically, we propose the following research questions as, firstly, we ask, what can generative language model do to facilitate the effectiveness of disinformation generation? Where we want to focus on the dynamics of persuasiveness of LLM generated disinformation in times, and also the influence of shifting among different models at different scale on this task. Secondly, we ask why actors use generative language models to promote online dis disinformation dissemination where we want to complement existing research gap by adding a crucial dimension focusing on human factors and explore the reasonable measurement of human-based model usability, uh, reliability, and efficiency. And finally, we ask how to mitigate the online disinformation campaign in the era of general language models, where we want to discuss the potential method at content and the network level, as well as the human-centered aspects according to the results of work ahead. To answer the proposed questions, we are applying both algorithmic and human-engaged methods to explore the potential solutions. And our principle here is to always keep data-centric uh, thinking throughout the research. Firstly, for the generation phase from the disinformation side, we are identifying a comprehensive knowledge repository of the disinformation from diverse taxonomy background. Based on this large-scale data set, we are expecting to have a original way of modeling broad disinformation and with, with which we could characterize those information in a more general and explainable manner. And from the large language model side, we are of course not only doing model selection things as what every researcher is doing, we are also identifying the potential useful prompt engineering method and their correlations with diverse disinformation contexts. We are checking through the effect of virus prompt engineering method, describing different narratives of disinformation, and aim to establish a neural interpreter to explain the prompt and make the process more explainable. <coughs> and secondly, for the dissemination phase, we are integrating analyze from human aspects as the motivations for what kind of influence operation campaign they want and uh, into, into our research. And we will also explore the social simulation based on LLM agent that may promote disinformation dissemination. And finally, for the mitigation, document level detection based on discriminative ways is, of course, our focus. Well, the question here is that are we actually doing AI generated text de detection or are we doing disinformation detection? The question still needs verification. So we are also interested in applying generative ways. To of, of reasoning and explaining to mitigate this information. And also for the campaign level, uh, trustworthy LM agent in the social network is also of our interest. And to conclude our work, we discuss the existing landscape of LM generated disinformation, propose a potential future direction in the space, and uh, come to the following perspectives. And firstly, general language model is impacting the landscape for disinformation. But uh, such practical application will still need further verification. And secondly, with the emerging new LM generated disinformation, adequate evaluation method beyond traditional uh, 
measurements are needed, are demanding. And thirdly, uh, generative language model itself can be served as an um, advanced counter tool to fight back LLM generated disinformation as well. Uh, this is all of my presentation. I thank you very much for your attention and your time to, the, to an early stage researcher. I want to thank the support of my supervisor, Owen, and the uh, Science Foundation Island uh, for this work. Please feel free to ask any questions or make any comments. Thank you very much.